So we're going to see what happens here. Rufus, let's go back. Something cool happened on a walk in the woods behind our house the day before I took this video. The general led me all the way back home even though he had never been to where we were before. He was using his nose and not his eyes to do it as is only natural for a Malinois. I wanted to see how strong this instinctive ability was in him even though he's only eight and a half weeks old. So I took him into a state park and spent 31 minutes walking off trail to see if he could find his way back on his own. I didn't walk in a straight line and I intentionally crossed over logs and other obstacles including a little stream that we crossed four times. One thing to note is I always start a new dog walking out and backs and at the turning point I say the command, let's go back. He already understands that means we're going back the way we came, which is exactly what I want him to do when I give that command. So it was no surprise that's exactly what he did, even though we were 31 minutes into an area of the park that nobody ever goes. However, it was immediately obvious that once again, he was using his nose to follow our back trail and not some visual memory of what various ferns look like at different points of our path. That's an important point to realize. From his 12 pound perspective, all he sees is ferns and other undergrowth all around him. We do take some game trails, but there are tons of them that weave in and out of each other. Yet, he manages to stay on exactly the trails we use to get into the park. There were, of course, several points along the way where he rushed so fast that he blew a turn. However, as long as I gave him enough leash and time, he always found the trail again. The only correct thing that I had to do was when he would start heading back into the park on our trail instead of out. He also needed some encouragement to cross the creek the first few times because this is actually the first time in his entire life that he's seen one up close, let alone walk across one. As cool as this is, there are many, many kinds of dogs that should be able to do this. I'm still blown away at how good an eight and a half week old puppy is at this, even if he's from a breed and a line within that breed specifically selected to be good at tracking. You can see that he loves it though. He's exercising both his body and his brain this whole time, and he's using abilities that he's built for that otherwise would go to waste. I'm not going to compete with this guy, so Schutzen style, nose down style points don't matter. I'm simply having fun with my puppy while also serving a very practical purpose. He's learning the skill and having the desire reinforced to return home if he ever got away from us. In the eight years we lived where we do with our last Malinois, he got out three times. Each time was because some non-family member left the gate open and we didn't catch it for hours. So he was off exploring quite a bit before we knew to look for him. Each time, he came back to the house on his own as if it was no big deal, even though he certainly ventured quite a distance from us before deciding he had enough exploring for the day. Here's one of the few times the general blew a turn. I encouraged him to find the track himself just one time, but otherwise, I'm merely trying to keep from getting tangled in the leash as he circles trying to find the track again. You can see he's air scenting, then confirming with sniffs on the ground. This would cost him points in Schutzen, even though it's his natural instinct and it's working very well. Luckily, I don't have to worry about that, which means neither does he. He does keep checking with me at first to make sure I'm not going to help him, but once he commits to working, he finds the trail again and it's off to the races. Each time this happens, he's gaining confidence in himself because it's self-rewarding. Finding the track and getting to go back home is all the reward this guy needs, even though I do give him a few quiet words of praise nonetheless. Watch how he approaches this fourth water crossing and doesn't even stop. Good boy, we found it. That was all you, buddy. He went in right where we came out. He's following our path along the creek bottom, and he's about to climb out right where we came in, even though they weren't directly in line. That was all you. Good boy. We eventually came to a busy bike path that we walked along for about 50 yards. Without hesitation, he followed right where we walked along the path, even though it had dozens of riders and runners in the 45 minutes since we'd been there last. And once again, he blows me away by finding exactly where we came out of the woods. I guess I shouldn't really be amazed, but I am a very proud daddy regardless. Oh my gosh, you are so good. You are such a smart dog. Look at you. Look at you, eight and a half weeks old. Eight and a half weeks old. You are a tracking machine. 
What took 31 minutes to walk in took only 21 minutes to track back out. By this time, he's worn out but still having fun. The sound of the cars on the road means we're right back where I put him down to start the track. What a great time in the woods for the both of us, and what a great way to develop the physical and mental abilities of this great Malinois. Okay, good boy. Come here. Ruby's come here. What a good boy. What a good boy. You are so smart. You are such a good tracking dog. I am going to tie my shoe, and I am going to pick you up so you don't get smashed by cars. What a good boy.